Well, hey there, kids. JR here, and I've got my good friend, Officer James Irby. How are you, Officer Irby? Fine, JR. Hello, everybody. Hey, listen, uh, I want you here on the program today and uh, kind of talk to us a little bit about who you are and, and when, where you are. Now, you're a real police officer, right? That's right, JR. And where are you a police officer at? I'm at the 7th District Police District, and it's located in Southeast D.C. Oh, isn't that something? So you are a real District of Columbia police officer. 25 years worth. Whoa, we 25 years worth, man of life. Well, Officer Irby, you, in 25 years, you've probably seen a lot of interesting things, haven't you? That's right, JR. I have. Have you ever seen anybody go to jail? Um, yes, a lot of people, JR, as a matter have of fact. Have you ever, have you ever had to arrest somebody? Yes, JR, I, I do have to arrest people on occasion. And that's a sad thing, isn't it? Well, sometimes... It's sad, but most of the time, it's a good thing, Jr. Well, uh, you, you know, because it, it helps get the bad people off the streets, doesn't it? That's right. We yeah, do. and so they won't hurt anybody else. That's right, Jr. Yep. Exactly right. Well, that's that's good thinking there, isn't it? Oh yes. Well, yes. we're really proud of you and all the other your, your other friends. I guess there's just more than one of you, right? Oh, it's a lot of us, Jr. A lot of police officers are in our city, in do our you, fine city. Do you ride a motorcycle? Oh no, I don't ride the motorcycle anymore. Well, that's the fun part about being a police officer is riding the motorcycle. Well, I tell you what, I'll do. What's that? I'll get one of my friends to maybe set up a ride for you sometime. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love you to like be able that? to ride a motorcycle. All right. Hey, we'll work it out. Hey, now. I'll, I want to talk to you about something here. These kids that are watching, you know, yeah. a lot of times, right there in their very own resident, <coughs> and right there in their neighborhood, they experience some loud popping sounds, and we know what that is, don't we? Yes, unfortunately, JR, those are sounds of gunfire. And, and normally when you hear a gun go off, somebody else on the other end is getting hurt. That's right, that's right. Yes. And, and can you tell me, have you ever seen anybody get hurt because of gunfire? Yes, I have, JR, and it's not a pretty sight, I tell you. It's worse than what you see on TV, isn't it? Well, exactly, because as you know, TV is not real. Yeah, well, we're real here, aren't we? Oh, yes, very much so. Pinch me. Oh, no, that's okay. okay. Well, but I tell you what, though, <laughs> yes. you get on TV, I know what you're saying. Those, yeah. The director says, cut, and those actors get up and walk away, don't they? That's right, JR. But, but yes. Yeah, in real right. life, though, when you when you pull up on the scene, you can say cut, and, and we're talking a big cut, aren't we? Exactly. A lot of disappointing situations occur. Yep. Somebody's been yes. cut, somebody's been hurt, somebody's been uh, wounded yeah. by a gun or whatever. That's right. And yeah. even kids, right? Innocent people as well, Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got just a few seconds here left, uh, Officer Irby. Can okay. you kind of encourage the kids how to handle a situation if they happen to find a, a firearm? Most definitely. Well, kids, what I want you to do is if you should ever walk up on a gun, do not touch it. Find some responsible person that you can let them know about it so they can call the police and recover the gun. And above all, do not touch it. Very good. Hey, this is JR, and I want you to watch what's coming up next, okay? Okay.